now your season is over a second time. Uh, probably less exciting than the last time your season ended and you actually had another season to start. But, uh, you know, what was it like to kind of just have a couple of days to think about the year here? Yeah, it's been awesome. Um, obviously getting here, it's been a whirlwind. Um, didn't know what to expect or what coming in, but uh, everyone's been great. I was really welcomed and felt really comfortable the whole time. You know, we, we asked you when you first got here, you know, kind of what your strengths were. And, you know, you talked about, you know, being a big physical fast skater. And um, how do you feel like that's kind of translated from the college game to the professional game, even in just a short amount of time? Yeah, I think uh, playing like my offensive instincts and stuff like that were really good. Uh, I think defensively, I can get better. I think uh, being more physical on a little bit, just figuring out the league and who I'm playing against more so. But um, no, I felt like everything was really good. Uh, Obviously, there are some good games and there are some bad games. So consistency is going to be what I have to find, and that's probably going to help me the most. Was it a little bittersweet that it ended so quick? Like, did you feel like you could have used a couple more playoff games to to learn that? Uh, I don't know, to when it amps up a little bit more, even. Yeah, I think a few more playoff games would have been really nice. Obviously, um, getting more experience, and I was here for the rest of the year. So no matter if that was no playoffs or playoffs, um, I was really excited to be a part of it. Obviously, it was a tough ending, but I think. Um, We'll be in a good spot next year. You only got a few games under your belt before the playoffs started. So, you know, what was the difference between the regular season and the playoffs? And, and how was that adjustment for you? Yeah, I think the playoffs were just a little more intense. Everyone was really focused. Um, even the other team was making sure that they were doing every little thing right. And I think getting into the playoffs, that's when teams with the small details and they start to win games because of that. Um, I think working on my small details and habits are going to help me improve um, throughout the regular season. And then by the time we get to playoffs, that'll be all locked in. What's your summer usually like? Uh, kind of assuming that you're going to be in Michigan, but uh, what, what's, what do you usually do? And would that be the same this year? Yeah, um, summers are pretty much looking the same. My parents have a place in Florida, so I'll go down there for two, three weeks um, separated in time. And um, I got to go to graduation and walk in a couple weeks here. So I'm going to do that. And just, I think I'm going to move back here uh, July 1st. So I'll be in LA this summer. What are some of the things that you like to do during the summer away from hockey? I like to golf a lot. Um, I'll probably golf four days a week. And then uh, fishing. Um, my buddies have boats, so we'll get out there. We'll week surf and stuff like that. But um, nothing, just hanging out outside and really try and stay out of the house and do um, a lot of walks. I like walking, so that's good. How how are the walks so far here in LA compared to, to East Lansing? Uh, probably like every vacation I've ever been on. So <laughs> walking on the beach and the pier is not a bad place to be. Um, no, it's been great. Uh, the weather was awesome. We had a couple really nice days on our off days, so got to really check it out and see Hermosa. Checked out uh, Manhattan Beach yesterday, so just hanging out. July 1, uh, back here, I mean, what goes into that decision? Uh, how much do you think that might help you going into to a full year next year? Yeah, I think it's going to be huge for me, um, getting out here, working with their staff and the deaf coaches and seeing how what they want on the ice and then obviously the strength conditioning side of it. They're going to be the best in the business for what I need and what they want to help me with. And I think everything here is a resource, so just using those resources and then um, obviously being fully in and getting here and getting started.